with a different set of players the West Indies failed and with this set of players the West Indies failed and the same leaders giving instructions why is it that the West Indies players who have talent who have experience who have seen it before who would have been trained for an occasion like this one is staying away from the West Indies team welcome again to write the narrative where it is okay to be curious please like share subscribe hit that notification bell and drop a comment now Two days after the West Indies got kicked out, got an early plane ride home from the T20 World Cup. We haven't seen much, uh, seen or hear much coming out of the West Indies camp. And it's kind of what was expected. It's the weekend. But the fans, they still are saying their peace. They're still shocked. We saw the comments, we heard the concerns, and we also heard the questions. Some of the questions were why is it that the management gets blamed when the players are the ones who are not playing well what do you think if you are the ultimate leader of a, of a corporation who do you question who do you query when the, the corporation fails is it that one employee who did something wrong or is it the the, the policies you have to review policies you have to question management strategies just to add it on the team and it's on the corporation and that's where Ricky Skerritt was saying that they're gonna do a poor smart -um. they have to go take a look into what's going on with the team a few things stand out a lot of things stand out the West Indies players the players are staying away from the team we need to we need to understand that some of these West Indies players don't really want to play for the West Indies why is it that the West Indies players who have talent who have experience, who have seen it before, who would have been trained for an occasion like this one, is staying away from the West Indies team. They are not trying to stay away from cricket. They want to play cricket. They want to play cricket on the biggest stages. While, West, while the World Cup is one of those very big stages, there are players who still don't want to play World Cup cricket because they are playing for the West Indies. Now, why is it that you would want to blame the players when the management staff already knew that there was a World Cup coming up in a year time and they have a pool of players from 15 countries in the West Indies that they could have picked 15 people from and have those 15 people work hard towards a World Cup Scotland they showed what discipline means Scotland had a blueprint they had notes on each player they knew who they were gonna play the first match against and they did their homework now the west indies being the west indies started looking at the finals ignoring the seven match leading up to the finals they ignored all seven and start looking at the finals they didn't get past the first three. They didn't even get past the first one. The West Indies as a strategy, not the players going out there. The players who went out there on the pitch, they went up against players who were prepared. What a strategy. What a system behind them. While Scotland didn't make it into the Super 12, they made history. They made history. Now, why should we blame the players? No, some of the players that... Why we should not blame the players, actually, is because last world cup we had a lot of senior players in the team this world cup is a completely different team from the previous world cup this world cup this world cup squad is a completely different team from the squad that played against pakistan in the matches leading up to the world cup they are different from the, the squad that played against bangladesh leading up to the t20 world cup they are different from the squad that played that five match series against india the squad that beat england it's a totally different team why can't we blame the players because these players are not a team these are players that got thrown out there like a roll of the dice and said go win the world cup that's why we cannot blame the players before the argument was that west indies players do not listen there are too many superstars in the team making too many too much money they got rid of all the superstars all the senior players those players did not listen they go out there and do whatever they want they are bigger than cricket no they got rid of all of those players 
Now we have a young crop of players and what are we hearing from the management and the super fans of cricket from around from the Caribbean. They are saying that the players do not listen. The players don't do what they were supposed to do. The players are not listening. When you have senior players, the players fail because they do not listen. When you have young emerging players, the players fail because they do not listen. When you have intermediate players like a Jason Older, Nicholas Puran, maybe you want to put Ravman Powell in there, you want to put Akilo Sane, they still fail and it's because the players do not listen. What is it? Is it that the players do not listen or is it that the selectors are selecting wrong players? Leading up to the T20 World Cup, Evan Lewis played zero matches for the West Indies. The last time he played for the West Indies might have been in the previous World Cup. No, Evan Lewis made it into the T20 World Cup. Arguable, one of um, the West Indies better players. But is he a team player at this point? We could argue whether or not he's a team player. Andre Russell made himself available just like Evan Lewis, but he was left out. Is he a good player or not? Why was one player admitted into the T20 World Cup squad and the other omitted? Why is it? Are these players listening on a day and decide not to listen on the next day? No, you tell me how you feel about this. The, 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 the fans are asking questions. The fans are asking for the head of the management. They're asking for the coach, the president and the captain to be deleted from the, the lineup, from the management. They need asking for them to be gone. How do you feel about that one? What is the common denominator from the previous World Cup? When the West Indies failed miserably, we had the same coach. They failed miserably. We had the same president. They failed miserably. The selector is different, but they still failed miserably the management are largely the same as they were previously now if the west indies pick a squad that does not listen whose problem is that is the selectors oversight the captain is a, is a selector of sorts the coach is absolutely a selector and then you the panel of selectors who made the blunder did the west indies send a team to the t20 world cup or did they send a squad of some men who plays cricket the West Indies had a year to have players gel together as a team. The team that played against Pakistan leading up to the T20 World Cup. The team that played against Australia days before the T20 World Cup were a different team on the pitch. The West Indies switched players around trying to find the best players. Like a, we're going to find a stroke of luck on the day a lot of fans there are a lot of super fans there is no we have no shortage of fans we are stakeholders we buy the tickets to go watch the matches we cheer for them we we, we create an environment online we have an online community and that's where most of the cricketers get their notoriety no the west indies selectors management and team have a responsibility to the fans because we are seeing empty stadiums but online you have no shortage of support it is within their best interest to do something that help us to be inspired to continue watch and listen to t20 to cricket today is the second day of the t20 world cup and no west there we have no west indies no west indies news nothing we see play right now in group one new zealand is leading good New Zealand's a strong team. In group two, India is leading. Good. India is also a strong team. Two favorites. Sri Lanka, who was struggling to get into the Super 12. They are on the second. They are second in group one. While England is third. West Indies is, is, is just as good as a Sri Lanka. And they were able to win a T20 series against England. The West Indies change team quite frequently. The goal is to find good players. They want to build players. But they, they fail to understand that these players, as talented as they are, they also need to be experienced. When they go out there against these teams, they are going up against opposing force that are sometimes even more overwhelming than the West Indies team. And you have to dig deep. You have to dig deep to come out with victory. That is where we had 
that's why even a Shimran Etmaya is respected because even when everybody else is failing he buckle down and he'll dig out a, 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 um, a 50 that's what you get from a Chris Gale from the start he destroys everybody shake their confidence and change the psychology of the game the West Indies are a bunch of sheep that listen to the same leadership because you're saying we're, we're saying that the West Indies are not listening to them to the leaders yet we're getting the similar results with, while having the same leaders are they listening to the leaders or not with a different set of players the West Indies failed and with this set of players the West Indies failed and the same leaders giving instructions are the West Indies listening or not with older players who are obviously way beyond the pay grade of what the West Indies can offer the West Indies failed with the younger players who are more easily controlled the West Indies failed yet they are still using the same coaches and president and management staff are the West Indies really not listening to the management or is it that they are listening and do it and getting the result that they invested in rewrite the narrative drop a comment like share and subscribe